Before we get started coding, we should make sure we're all using the same tools. Since we'll be using a bit of Node, let's make sure that our Node versions are the same. So if I check my Node version, I'm using the latest of version 10, which is 10.19.0. And NPM is also here, 6.13.4. If you don't have this version, you can install NVM, and then you would run NVM install v10.19.0. In my case, of course, I have it already installed, but that will install both Node and NPM for you. That's kind of outside the scope of this course, but if you go to the NVM GitHub page, you can go down to installing and updating they have a bash script that will get you the latest version. Um, if you're using Windows, you'll have to install Node from source, the 10.19 version. So for this course, I've already prepared a simple Git repository that we can use as an example for building our first pipeline. So we can clone that now and I'll put this link in the lesson notes. We'll CD into that folder and open it up in Visual Studio Code. So this looks like there's a lot of stuff here, but really all it is is a copy of HTML5 boilerplate, which is a nice bare bones template where you can start prototyping and building a wireframe for a website without having to worry about picking a framework like React or Vue or whatever. Basically, if you know normalized CSS, it has that in there and a few other goodies that basically unifies the styles if you visit the page on any browser. So when we download this, we see we just get a zip file and when we unpack those, we get the same folders that I have in my project. So if we go back over to the project, we see the same type of structure. The only thing that I've added here, if we go into index, I've added bootstrap for some styles. And then from here, this is, this is from the boilerplate, add your site or application content here, all the way down to the Google Analytics tag, which also isn't filled out. But this is just some simple content. And we can open that in the browser. And we see we have a basic site to work with. No JavaScript, no front-end framework, and it's somewhat responsive. I'm sure you guys can find something that isn't perfectly responsive here, but uh, it's good enough to start with, and it'll suit its purpose for what we're going to do. So in this lesson, the first thing we did was ensure that we're all using the same version of Node. We're using node version 10.19.0. Then we downloaded a simple example Git repository, which we'll use throughout the course. As we saw, it's a simple copy of HTML5 boilerplate. And I added some markup to the index HTML and also two style sheets, one from Bootstrap and one from my own. So in the next lesson, we'll get started and finally build our pipeline. Hi everyone, hope you enjoyed that lesson and that you learned something you can use in your own stack. I want to mention that these few videos are just a preview of the full courses which I have on both Skillshare and Udemy. Um, and I put a link in the description below for both of those. So I encourage you to check those out and if you do decide to take those courses, I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, and I also want to mention that I don't want money to be the reason you can't learn from one of my courses. So if, if there's a problem there, just reach out to me and I can hook you up with a free version of the course. 
Uh, so that's all. I hope you uh, take a look and I hope you enjoy. Take care, guys.